Good evening. Would you like to speak to Lindsay? Would you like to speak to Martha? <laughs> I'll tell you a wonderful story. Over 70,000 people die of unknown causes every year in this country. Only 5% of those deaths become clear after an autopsy. Huh. Okay. These current deaths are part of the remaining 95%. There are probably more men who are dying in that way than we are being told. I'm excited for tomorrow. Tomorrow? Mr. Morgan blamed himself. Mr. Todd blamed himself. Mr. Archie blamed himself. Mr. Daniel blamed himself. Miss Anna blamed herself. Mr. Justin blamed himself. But is there any human without sin? You got mail. Cheating situation, huh? Yeah, but I let it drag on too long. Anyway, now I really learned who was important to me. To like is to want, but to love is to give, right? It's easy to want something, but some people find it harder to give something. Are you an amateur psychologist or something? No, no. I'm just the missionary of love. <laughs> <sighs> Whatever. What should we do? The witch is apparently a classmate of ours. Huh? She went to the same school we did at the same time. The school regulations, the teachers, that dance party, it all makes sense now. What are you babbling about? Man, I never realized it. Oh, I see now, in our school. You sure look like you're having fun. What's that supposed to mean? You look happy. <laughs> you think? is actually real? I know this is sudden, but here's some trivia for you, as you seem to have finished your glass. Liquor is usually consumed for the purposes of getting drunk, but some cocktails exist for the opposite reason. One such cocktail is the prairie oyster, made to fix hangover. The recipe is Worcestershire sauce, tomato juice, vinegar, pepper, and a raw egg. It's meant to be swallowed in a single gulp so that the yolk remains unbroken. Who thought this up in the first place? And that was the cocktail trivia for tonight. Empty? What would you like now? Sake. Coming right up. Mm. I'm not the only one acting up. This isn't good. in the beginning, I never had gotten into a mess like this. Mm. I know this is sudden, but here is some trivia about Japanese sake, now that you've emptied your sake cup. In Japan, a common phrase to describe a drunk person is, drunk as dirt. Do you know where this phrase comes from? The dirt in this case isn't actual dirt. Bug that appears in old Chinese tales is called a day and uses the same character as dirt in Japanese. They live in water, and when they walk on land, they stagger about like a drunkard. And that was the trivia for tonight. Empty? Are you all right? I'm fine. Here. Coming right up. Finally back. Catherine, wait for me. Are you all right? You look quite tired. Brought this shit upon myself. It's okay. I settled things. Wine, women, and dice. 
Those are the three woes. To reel off a recitation from a certain someone, well, liquor is the closest I've got to any of those. So, drink up. Yeah, thanks. You got mail. was killed. Does that mean the rumor about the nightmares is actually real? I know this is sudden, but here's some trivia about beer. Now that you've emptied your mug, when was the first time you ever drank beer? Just because you're legally underage to purchase beer does not always mean it's illegal to drink it. Many countries have different drinking ages. In New Zealand, there is no minimum drinking age if under parent supervision. On the other hand, many Islamic nations forbid alcohol at any age. And that was the beer trivia for tonight. Empty? Are you all right? I'm fine. Whiskey. Coming right up. The human heart is a difficult thing. How long in woman lasts the fire of love if eye or touch do not relight it often? To take the thoughts from a certain someone. Who the hell is that certain someone? This time it would be Dante, I believe. Anyway, even if it looks like it's burning hot now, the fire in the heart of a woman may just flicker out over time. Look. It'll be all right. I just can't think straight today. Uh, oh, it's late. I don't feel well. I guess I should go home. nine cats, or so the saying goes. Women must be strong. I don't know. Today's just... You know Feather, the wrestlette? She's on a losing streak because of the injury she took in a previous match. Hmm. Really? I didn't think you followed that sport. I don't really. But you haven't been making any bets recently. That's because the only thing other people are betting on is women's wrestling. I don't really enjoy seeing women beating on each other like that. Oh, is that why? So I was worried about you for nothing. Well, it's not like I have any money either. Man, once you start watching women's pro wrestling, it's hard to stop. Powerful women are so cool. I wonder if I could get in. Uh, that's impossible. Oh, I think I'm pretty strong. Yeah, but they wouldn't let you join in the first place. Oof. I'm not the only one acting up. This isn't good. Continuing our coverage of the mysterious weakening deaths. Anthony Jackson, age 29, has been found dead today. Steve Dello, age 42. Steve, the sheep in my dreams. The voice on the phone, I think. That concludes our coverage for now. Now on to the local weather report. We're in for some rain starting tomorrow afternoon. Make sure you've got your umbrella. After the commercial break, we'll... Whew. I know the 
this is sudden, but here's some trivia about whiskey. Now that you've emptied your glass, can you spell whiskey correctly? Actually, whiskey and whiskey are both correct spellings. In England, I hear that they spell it differently depending on what kind of whiskey it is. Bourbon has a key, and scotch has none. That's how some learn it. These are nice things to know if you want to be very knowledgeable in whiskey. And that was the trivia for tonight. Empty? Are you all right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 